subscribe Vision Channel. Today we will share information about around the sea world. Let's explore the sea. Zander. The Zander or pike perch is a species of ray finned fish from the family Persidae, which also includes perch, ruff, and darter. It is found in freshwater and brackish habitats in western Eurasia. It is a popular game fish and has been introduced to a variety of localities outside its native range. Taxonomy The Zander was first formally described in 1758 as Perca lucioperca by Carolus Linnaeus. In Volume 1 of the 10th edition of Systema Naturae and he gave the type locality as European Lakes. When Lorenz Oaken, 1779-1851, created the genus Sander, he made Perca lucioperca its type species. The Zander is part of the European clade within the genus Sander, which split from a common ancestor with the North American clade. which the walleye, S. vitreus, and the sorga, S. canadensis, belonged to, around 20.8 million years ago. Within the European clade, the Volga pike perch is the most basal taxon and shares features with the North American clade. In contrast in the zander and the estuarine perch, the males build nests and the females spawn into these nests and the males then guard the eggs. The lineage leading to the Zander is thought to have diverged from the common ancestor with the Volga pike perch circa 13.8 million years ago. Description The Zander is the largest member of the Persidae and it usually has a long and muscular body, which bears some resemblance to a northern pike, hence the alternative English common name of pike perch. The upper part of its body is green-brown in color and this extends onto the sides as dark vertical bars. In a pattern not dissimilar to that of the European perch while the lower part of the body is creamy white. Their caudal fin is dark and the pectoral, pelvic and anal fins are paler off-white in color. The dorsal and caudal fins are marked with rows of black spots on the membranes between the spines and rays. The juveniles are silvery in color, becoming darker as they age. They have powerful jaws which are armed with many sharp teeth with two long canines in the front of each jaw. They have large bulbous eyes which are opaque when the fish is living in particularly turbid conditions. An adaptation to low light. There is a single flat spine on the operculum. Like other members of the perch family, the Zander has a split dorsal fin with the first dorsal fin having 13 to 20 spines. and 18 to 24 soft rays, while the anal fin has 2 to 3 rays and 10 to 14 soft rays. The caudal fin is long and forked. The Zander has a maximum published standard length 100 cm, although they are more commonly found at around 50 cm. This species can reach 20 kg of weight, although typical catches are considerably smaller. The IGFA all tackle world record centimeters. Distribution. The Zander is very widely distributed across Eurasia, occurring in the drainages of the Caspian, Baltic, Black, North and Aegean Sea basins. 
the northern boundary of its distribution in Finland. It has been introduced to Great Britain, Southern Europe, and continental Europe west of the Elbe, Ebro, Targus and Juca drainages. as well as to Anatolia, North Africa, Siberia, Kyrgyzstan, and Kazakhstan. In the UK, Xander was originally introduced in 1878 by Francis Russell, 9th Duke of Bedford. Into lakes on his Woburn Abbey estate and soon after that into the Great Ouse Relief Channel in the Fens. British waterways included Xander among non-native species most likely to harm native wildlife along rivers in Great Britain. Their success in establishing themselves was owed to a number of factors, which is that they are particularly well adapted to life in the slow-flowing, sparsely vegetated, rather murky waters that comprise so many of the British lowland rivers. Xander thrive in water with rather low visibility, unlike pike, which often dominate the predator fish niche in clear water. However, Xander need plenty of oxygen and soon disappear from eutrophic areas. Xander was stocked in Spiritwood Lake, North Dakota in 1989 and has remained ever since. Ecologists believe that if establishment occurs in the Great Lakes, they will compete with game fish. Such as the closely related walleye or the yellow perch for food and habitat. Therefore, the government of Ontario is preemptively treating Xander as a future invasive species. Aquaculture. Increasing demand for Xander for human consumption has attracted great attention of fish farmers. Today, elaborated protocols for the reproduction and on-growing of Xander are available. Throughout Europe, an increasing number of aquaculture facilities produce Xander for stocking or human consumption. Production volume remains low, but is expected to increase. High investment and maintenance costs of RAS require farming of high-value species with good market acceptance such as Xander. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe this channel. See you later!